Eli gearing up. <laughs> this is my vlog. <laughs> it's just, uh... It's wasting the battery. You Eli in his short shorts. Looking cool. Let's go. Hiking up Rattlesnake Ledge. Going up for sunset. We were supposed to go up for sunrise. I uh, set the alarm clock for 3 a.m. but then forgot to actually turn it on. So we were up for sunrise, but just in downtown out of it and not the mountains. Which is kind of a bummer, but we're still stoked to get out. The funny thing is, is that I couldn't sleep last night because I was so stoked and didn't fall asleep till like 1.30. And I actually thought about just staying up all night, but then I was like, no, I need to force myself to go to bed. And then, yeah. It's about the same length as Heather Lake, which we did last week, uh, like four miles or so. Um, probably like a thousand feet elevation gain, maybe two, I don't really remember. But it's a good beginner hike, so um, we're stoked. It's gonna be fun. This is a super monumental day for me because about seven years ago or so, back in 2009, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. Soon after, I lost a full ride scholarship. Oh, man. I got really, really sick. And soon after, I lost a full ride scholarship, was kicked out, dumped, lost my job, and was basically started couch surfing and living off of food stamps. I tried to work and got fired like all the time. It was like rock bottom, the lowest point of my life. But I knew that wasn't where I wanted to stay, so I made a commitment to myself to change. It's been a very long and difficult journey with lots of ups and downs. For the past two years or so, I got really radical about getting healthy. For about the last like six, to nine months or so, I was really, really struggling. Didn't know if I was gonna be able to follow through with my commitment, but I stuck with the plan. <laughs> and today, I feel way better than I ever have in like the last past decade. <sighs> the symptoms aren't completely 100% gone yet, but I honestly don't believe it's gonna be a problem ever again. I still have to be careful and disciplined, but I really don't think it'll be long before I'm feeling like 100% even better. <laughs> so now I'm starting a new chapter on my journey. I'm on a mission to completely transform myself both physically and mentally. One of the things about Crohn's disease um, is that it's made it very, very difficult to eat because it's so painful and almost nearly impossible to go to the bathroom. So ever since I was diagnosed, I've gotten really really good at fasting. I think the longest I went for was somewhere probably around like 25, 30 days. I think I lost count around like three weeks. I fasted daily pretty often and um, even weekly or several weeks at a time and sometimes like every other week and it's left me um, well, I'm just a little skinny. It's left me kind of skinny. When I was a kid, 
I was super like athletic, super active. Like sports were basically my life. Like football, wrestling, hockey, track, swimming. Like that's pretty much what I did with my time. So now I'm changing my lifestyle. I'm gonna get more active again. I'm not gonna do anything like crazy fad diets or programs or anything like that. It's gonna be an organic transformation. I'm gonna start with things, you know, like hiking, yoga, um, then maybe getting to some like climbing, um, some weightlifting, maybe some martial arts, things like that. So I'm stoked, it's gonna be fun. My goal is to reach like, uh, like a five minute mile, 100 push-ups in 60 seconds. So it's gonna be awesome. Maybe in one of my uh, near future vlogs, I'll like go for a run and do some push-ups, you know, a little PT to see where I'm at. So I'll show you really quick what I'm looking like uh, physically. I'm not like super skinny. I'm willing to bet that most of the weight that I lost has been in my legs. My arms are a lot skinnier than they've ever been. And my muscles are kind of like pudgy, just not as lean as they used to be. My guess is that I'm about like 120, maybe 125 right now. I've actually got a little bit more um, weight on me now, I was fasting, you know, for very frequently um, over the last couple months. But for like the last three weeks or so, I've been eating pretty regularly and normally. So I put on a little bit of weight. My goal is like 155, 165, um, you know, with a lean uh, body mass and then just kind of see where it goes from there. No matter what rock bottom you hit, you can always climb back up. And it pays off to be patient, determined, and committed. If you have a goal and you remind yourself daily of that goal, you work towards it consistently, and you don't give up, there's no reason why you can't hit it. <sighs> Made it to the top, just in time too. Lighting's pretty rad, we're gonna hang out till the sunset and it uh, should be pretty cool. <laughs> Kombucha. Chelsea just chilling. Zoomed up on you now. 
all right, it's getting dark, so we're heading down. All in all, great hike. So glad I came up here. Can't wait to do more. I'm gonna steal one from Andrew Kearns. Stay tuned and stay stoked. Remember, your goals are not impossible. You can do this. <laughs> hey, what's up? Eli here. Thanks so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, leave a comment below, and click here to subscribe. If you know anyone who would like this video, make sure to share it with them. To watch more of my videos, go ahead and click here. And if you'd like to check out my blog, click here. <laughs>